What it do all my paper chasers for life squad, all my YouTubers, Facebookers, hurricane drivers, CDL holders, cement mixers, doubles and triples, uh, flat fitters, oversized, specialized, reefers, dry vans, uh, heavy haulers, hemi haulers, uh, uh, that can vegetables and fruit guys. What's up, Jason? What's up, Greg? Uh, uh, let me see here. Tow trucks. We got the food service guys. We got we got the uh, construction guys. We got the oil field guys. In the uh, in the uh, hauling them sandboxes and them pneumatics. You know, hauling that water out there in the oil field. You know, hauling that heavy equipment out there in the oil field. Doing your thing, baby. Uh. We got the fuel haulers. We got we got boat haulers. We got uh uh what else we got, man? What else we got? Ooh, we we got so much stuff, man. We got uh uh man, y'all gotta help me out. Y'all gotta get down there and help your boy out, man. Y'all know what it is. Uh, we're over here still in uh still here in uh, uh Lee Summit over here in Missouri. But uh, we're getting ready to start on load number 11, y'all. Load number 11. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't no doubt about it, man. We about to get going over there to Edwardsville, uh, Kansas, and pick up a load at Tyson over there. Going over to uh, Las Vegas. We got two stops over in Vegas. And, uh, man, it's time to get the ball rolling. Out here walking knucklehead right there right quick before we head on out. And uh, I'm going to have to stop and throw a little go-go juice in the, in the reefer there. Because uh, whenever you drop off at Tyson, they want it to be a, at least three quarters or four. So I'm going to have to stop and put a little go-go juice in there. And then uh, get on over there to the Tyson over there and pick up the load. The load is ready. So if y'all ready, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Hopefully y'all are always ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Yes, sir.
right, guys, we made it over here uh, to Tyson. Well, actually, it's called Lineage. Lineage Logistics over here in Edwardsville to pick up the, the load. Um, this is my empty. That's my empty there. I uh, just finished dropping it, dropping it, and uh, about to bobtail right down the street to where I pick up the uh, loaded trailer. It's Lineage Logistics, but they operate as Tyson Foods out of here. So don't be confused, man, when you come over here to pick up a load and have your safety vest on. Make sure you got your safety vest on, man. Uh, they're gonna want you to slide your tandems there at the gate or they won't check you in. So make sure you slide your tandems at the gate, come over here and park where all the empties are at and then bobtail down the street to pick up your loaded. So uh, let me get that handled, man, and I'll get back with y'all in a minute when I get my loaded. Yes, sir. Hey, what up, all my people? Uh, we're over here at the second park, picking up a trailer. It's my new trailer number right here. And uh, it's got good fuel in it. Over here, uh, yeah, it's got three quarters of tank in it. Running on 26, continuous. So over here, they want you to, uh, they give you a piece of paper to fill out, like all the Tysons do, but this one is different. They want you to fill out the seal numbers on the doors back here. They put two, two numbers on the doors back here, and they want you to fill them out. So you have to write down your seal numbers on this piece of paper here and then sign it, uh, print your name and, uh, give it back to them and, uh, and go from there. Uh, I'm waiting on the yard truck to come. Shout out to the yard trucks, man. Shout out to those guys. Shout out to the yard trucks. Um, here he is right here waiting on him to come and this thing is dropped too low, man. I, I put my air, I dropped my airbags and I still couldn't get under it. So, it's, it's too low, I'm gonna have to jack it up a little bit. So uh, we'll get back with y'all once we go and weigh it. Y'all be safe, man, we'll holler at y'all a little bit. All right, guys, we're over here. We made it back over here to the truck stop, over here to the to the on-the-go uh, truck stop here in Edwardsville. Uh, it'll be exit 8B off of 435, no matter if you're going uh, east or west on 435. Uh, north or south on 435 here, exit 8B over here in Edwardsville, Kansas. And uh, there it is right there, man. Exit 8B. There's my weights. We got 13,100 on the stairs. We got uh, 30,280 on the drives and 32,640 on the trailer for a total of 76,020. Um, I moved it back three slots, so uh, I moved it back toward the weight. Take 1,200 off of there. That's going to be 31,440, and that's going to make that 31,480. And uh, I'm sitting about oh, a little bit over a half a tank, and I'm going uh, to try to make it over. I'm going to make it over to Stratford and top off so I'll be heavier on the drives than I am on the trailer once I get fueled up, you know, so, um, I'm 480 miles from Stratford, Stratford, Texas, and, uh, I'm gonna get fuel over there, because it's cheaper over there, and, uh, what's gonna happen is I'm only gonna wind up taking this load over to Tucum Carry, New Mexico, so, uh, I gotta meet a driver over there and swap loads with him, and, uh, that'll put me on load number 12, so, um, we gonna get down with it, man, we get down through there, make it happen and uh we gonna get ghost right now y'all sit back enjoy the ride we'll see y'all after a while yes sir
life gift. You see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming down. Y'all, y'all know what it is. So you can go to the merch shop. Get that paper chasers for life gift. Uh, what it do all my paper chasers for life squad, man. Hope everybody doing all right out there, man. Hope y'all doing your thing tonight, man. Yes, sir. It is, uh, it is, uh, Wednesday night over there. I mean, uh, Tuesday night. My bad, guys. Tuesday night. I'm over here in Stratford, uh, Texas, man. Stopped here to get fuel. Take my 30 minute break. So I figured I'd give you guys some shout outs, man. And, uh, got the fuel over here for $3 and 40 something cents, something like that, man. I can't remember right now, but it was $3 and 40 something cents. So I topped it off here and, uh, uh, still headed to Tucum Carry to meet up with Randy, uh, cool dude, man. Uh, he's the one I met over in, in Stratford, Missouri, uh, like about a month ago to swap out loads right after I had came back to Hurricane. So, uh, it was cool to talk with him and that's who I'm going to be meeting up with. And, uh, Randy's a cool guy, man. So if y'all see Randy out here, y'all give him a shout out, man. Tell him G-Dog told you, give him a shout out. And, uh, he real cool dude, man. Uh, uh, I seen, uh, I don't want anybody to get offended, but I seen someone with a American flag on their truck, on the back of their, on the back of their sleeper. And it's dangling there in the air, you know, it's catching wind and stuff and it's getting shredded. Uh, to me, I don't know about to anybody else. I'm just speaking for me. You know, I can only speak for me. Um, to me, that's a, that's a disgrace of the American flag, you know? And, uh, I fought for this country, man. I served in the military. Uh, I'm ex army. And, uh, to me, man, that's, that's disrespectful to the flag. I would rather you put a sticker on your truck, like a big sticker, uh, a medium sticker, a small sticker, but a flag is something that should hang at your house, you know, or your business or whatever, you know, but not on a truck, man, not on the back of a truck, not on the back of a trailer. I'm, I'm not trying to offend anybody. It's just disrespectful to me. You know, you can do whatever you want, but to me, it's disrespectful, man. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Um, you know, make it a topic or something. We can discuss it, man. Um, I just think it's disrespectful, man. Um, trying to stay busy out here, guys. Um, the weekend was rough. Uh, dropping off the load today. And then go and pick up this load. You know, the guy made me wait till this morning to drop it off. And uh, that, was, that wasn't cool. But it is what it is, man. I don't run the show over there at uh at at ryan hart food services i don't run the show so you know um when i walked in there this morning to give him the paperwork to check in at five o'clock guy gave me a weird look like oh you again you know what i mean and i was like what well, what's that all about you know I'm, I'm here to drop off your freight you know i'm i'm not here for feelings i'm not here to make buddies or anything like that if you're cool i'm cool but you know, if, if, if I see you got an attitude with me or something like that, you know, I'm going to just let it blow over. I ain't got time to be arguing with no shipper or receiver. I'm there to do my job. You know what I mean? Do my job and then get up out of your hair. You know, I'm not, I'm not there to, for us to go and have beers together or sit down and, and eat dinner together or, or anything like that. I'm there to do my job and keep the tires moving so I can keep, you know, keep the tires rolling so I can keep earning, man. I ain't, I ain't there for, for no, nothing other than that, you know? And, uh, it's just that we don't get no respect out here, man. It sucks that we don't get no respect out here. You know, us over the road drivers. I don't know how it is for local drivers because local drivers see people all the, the same people all the time, you know? So, they, they get a good relationship with those people and it works out pretty good for them because they see those people all the time. But us over the road drivers, you know, they might see us uh, once in a blue moon, you know, but uh, we get no respect, man. They, they like to hold us up. They like to uh, 
make us use up our clock and stuff like that. A good thing at Hurricane, though, is that, uh, like, once you go either off duty or in the sleeper berth and you've been in there for two hours, uh, by checking that little box on the front of your, on the front of your time screen, if you check that little wheel box, it's called, uh, let me see here, man. What is it called? Let me see here. Just to be on the safe side. Wheel pair. And that's like doing like a split sleeper birth thing type thing. You know what I mean? Like you could do eight and twos here, seven and threes. You could do those type of things here at Hurricane. So if you got the little check mark in that box, after two hours of being off duty or in the sleeper birth, your time will freeze and you will still have all your time left. You know, like um, once I got back into the door yesterday, uh, today, uh, I put mine on sleeper bird. I did a, a pre-trip before I went in and then I creeped in under five miles an hour and I backed into the door. Well, once I backed into the door, I'm thinking that I'm gonna get unloaded right away. You know what I mean? So uh, I put it on sleeper bird and man, I was there for a while, you know, I was there for like four or five hours and my time froze. So by my time freezing, I still had all the time to get down here to Stratford and get my fuel and still gonna be able to make it to Tucum Carry tonight. So, you know, man, it is what it is, man. Uh, Y'all make sure y'all go down below the video, go check out the uh, Jeep Dog store, click on the item. It's gonna uh, ask you if you wanna see it in the, in the shop. And then click, you go to the shop, you click on that, and then you go to the shop and go to the left top hand corner up there and hit those three little lines up there. And then it's gonna say, see all products. Click on see all products. And uh, it, you're gonna see all the, all the products I got in there, man. It's a whole lot of stuff in there, man. It's so much stuff in there. You will find something you like, man. So go get your merch. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to say thank you to all you guys for the support, for the subscriptions, for the comments, for all the love, man. Y'all loving me. I'm loving y'all for loving me, man. You know, even if you don't like me, I still love you. You know, we still family. You leave a comment, whether it's good or bad, you still get love from G-Dog, man. I love everybody, man. I just want to see everybody get the bag, man. Any advice I can give out there for everybody get the bag, I'm willing to give that advice, share that information, man. I ain't withholding information from nobody. You know, it, it's all about uh, making money out here and either making it for yourself or making it for your family, man. So uh, much love to everybody, man. I show love to everybody, man. I don't I don't think I'm something I'm not. I'm, I'm a humble guy, man. And I'm just showing love to everybody. Uh, gonna get off into these shout outs man then i gotta get moving man my my 30 minute break is almost up and it's time for me to get on over there to come carry swap out with my boy and then time for me to go to bed man and uh get started on on load number 12 yes sir first up it's gonna be asap asap toxins appreciate you homie no doubt uh anybody i shout out man you definitely paper chaser for life ain't no doubt about it fam uh Full bar, full bar gamer. I appreciate you, uh, Frank Williams Jr. I appreciate your comment. Appreciate your subscription, homeboy. Appreciate you, man. Uh, uh, my boy Brad Brown over there in Decatur, Illinois. Shout out to Decatur, Illinois. Shout out to the state of Illinois. Uh, he's got a home girl that came down with the COVID, man, and uh, she's sick and stuff like that. And uh, just want to send her a shout out. So shout out to you, Keisha. Her name is Keisha, man. Y'all say a prayer for Keisha, man, that she comes out of it because she has kids, man. And uh, no kid should ever bury their parent, man. Uh, you know, it, it, it should be the opposite way around. You know, I mean, uh, no, no, uh, my bad, guys. My bad. My, my train of thought is messed up, man. But, uh, a woman with little kids, man, don't deserve to be going through something like that, man. So y'all say a prayer for Miss Keisha, man, and hope that everything works out for her. Next up is going to be my boy Toyas D. He used to be a, a hurricane driver. Toyas D. T-O-R-Y-A-S-D. Y'all go check him out on YouTube. He used to be a hurricane driver up there in Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore, Maryland. 
Baltimore is up in the house, man. Shout out to you, Torius. Yes, sir. Uh, Silky Shoes, uh, zero, uh, 007 dollar sign. Yeah, what's up, Craig? Shout out to you, man. My boy up there in Jersey, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to the state of New Jersey, man. Yes, sir. What's up, my brother? No doubt. Uh, 336 underscore long haul Alex. Shout out to you, my brother. Yes, sir. You definitely up in there. Super Killer 416. You definitely up in there. Uh, Mike Williams. You definitely up in there. Uh, Corey Foster. You definitely up in there. Thomas, I mean, Timothy Bachelor. You definitely up in there. Uh, Felix Bratcher. Yes, sir. What's up, Felix? Yes, sir. You definitely up in there, bro. Uh, Interplex. Los Angeles, y'all definitely up in there, no doubt. King J, you definitely up in there, homie. Isaiah Hollis, you definitely up in there, fam. Uh, let me see here. Uh, PMC Coy, you definitely up in there, fam, no doubt. Kelvin Ubaldo, you definitely up in there. I hope I said the last name right, homie. You definitely up in there. David Macias. Been a while since I shouted you out, David, but shout out to you, bro. No doubt, man. Uh, Rex Aaron, shout out to you, homie. Yes, sir. Isaac Faye, you definitely up in there. Uh, God LS Goods 405, you definitely up in there. Appreciate your subscription, homie. And uh, Brad, Brad uh, Farrer. You definitely up in there, man. I appreciate all you guys, man. It's time for me to get up out of here, man. Get on over to Two Come Carry in number 11, man. And then get started on number 12 in the morning, man. When I get up, your boy tired, but it's only like another 140 miles over to Two Come Carry to the loves over there. So I'm going to get up out of here, man. Just want to say God bless you all, man. We'll see y'all when we get over to Two Come Carry. Y'all be safe, man. And we'll holla on, at y'all on the uh, next version of the shout outs yes sir uh... To come carry, man. Just drop the trailer. There's my old boy sitting there. Drop the trailer off, man. And uh, just doing a little quick walk around. About to go and uh, wake up the driver, so he can uh, so he can grab this bad boy and and uh, get on his way, man. So that's gonna do it for load number number 11, y'all. I appreciate y'all sticking around with your boy. There's the trailer, man. Unhooked from it. It's still running. This one was a 26 degree load. I even topped off the reefer tank for him. You know, gotta do right, man. He topped his off. I topped mine off, man. So, uh, that's gonna do it, man. Like I said, man, appreciate y'all for all the love and support, man. And everything like that. And, uh, Y'all stay positive, man. Stay safe. Stay humble. God bless you all, man. 
don't let nobody take you from what you want to do, man. And uh, we're going to say love, peace, and hair grease. And we'll holler at y'all on number 12, man. Y'all be safe. It's time for your boy to get some sleep. God bless y'all, man. Yes, sir.